One of the most important things for us to do to amplify those voices is to pass the mic whenever we have it. If there's someone that can speak to a lived experience that you cannot, do not take up that space. Do not speak on their behalf. Let them speak for themselves. And I think that that also goes into what, what we just discussed regarding diversity, right? I, I don't think that we can talk about diversity without talking about representation. Um, and I don't mean visibility, but I mean representation. When we have roles on television that are finally going to make people of color visible, are the people playing those roles actually people of color? Like just last week, trending story, right? Rumi. We're talking about making a movie about Rumi in Hollywood. Now, this is a, an iconic poet who is from modern-day Afghanistan, and the name of the actor that was suggested as the role was Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh. A blonde, blue-eyed white man. But when you think about it, when we have roles in television or in Hollywood in the media that have to do with terrorists, that have to do with villains, that have to do with people that want to destroy us, that hate our freedoms, we have absolutely no problem finding brown actors to play those roles. Look, Donald, we're facing an emergency. Humanity yeah. is facing an emergency. A fascist regime has seized the reins of power in the most powerful, actually the sole superpower in the world. The Trump and Pence are operating out of Hitler's playbook. Only they have nuclear weapons. And what RefuseFascism.org is saying to the world is that while it's beautiful, it's righteous that millions of people have stood up in protest and continue to do so. And by the way, since I know he sometimes watches, President Trump, if you're watching, way more people have protested than were at your Nazi inauguration. But while this is beautiful, this resistance needs to grow, and people need to confront that this is a fascist regime that could drop the hammer and close down. It's working aggressively to close down the space for people to stand up and resist. And so, in the name of humanity, seven billion on this planet we need to pour into the streets and say no we refuse to accept a fascist america we refuse to accept this for the world and we must drive them out we need to stay it, in the streets i mean so many questions come to mind but the obvious one is this i always thought that the day somebody got up a republican and said you know what we got to focus on jobs no more pointless wars in the middle east and by the way i'm a secular guy they would say you know it's kind of my kind of republican you know, I mean, a man who campaigned and said, I long for the days when protesters were dragged out on stretchers, who offered to pay the bills of people who assaulted protesters at his rally. Donald Trump is a fascist. That's okay. out of Hitler's playbook. This so, is this is a danger to humanity. Okay, so and yes, it's in its early that, stages, but people okay. need to rise up and stop it before it is too late. OK, so but I, I want to get to that. Rise up and stop it. So I'm assuming that I mean, you're not serious. I mean, this is like play acting for you. If you really thought he was Hitler, if you really believed that he was acting according to, as you said, the playbook of Hitler, then you wouldn't stop with going on a cable show. I mean, you'd go all the way, wouldn't you? I mean, you don't really think that. Or you'd be committing acts of violence, right? I absolutely think. Actually, he's not like Hitler. He has a Twitter feed, he has that ugly orange thing on top of his head, and he has nuclear weapons, the biggest nuclear arsenal in the world. And people better wake up, because he is more dangerous than Hitler ever could have been. Because he is more dangerous. Let's just Absolutely. be real for a second. No, I know we're on TV, but let's be real. On, if you on, really you, thought hold on, that, hold on. I mean, you implied on. you implied something, and I want to answer it. You implied that I'm going to do something that's untoward, whatever. I'm calling for mass political protest and resistance, building on what's happened and staying in the streets in the name of humanity. Before the man starts, he asked three times, if I have nukes, why can't I use them? No, I this can is a mass I, incineration of human I, I, okay, beings on an I get industrial scale. I can scale. see that you're, I can oh, see your spun against up here. Humanity. But let's just be more specific because I, I want to take you seriously. I assume you're being serious, hard as it is to believe, when you use rhetoric like he's Hitler, he's going to incinerate the world. No, I How said you nuclear weapons him? are 
the mass incineration of human well, beings. Well, sure, okay. The industrial but, 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 scale. Oh, sure. You, you think Nukes he could are no big deal world. for you. I know you like to carry water for the liar in chief. <laughs> I know you like to justify and rationalize the sexual predator me. in chief. But I don't think this is a joke. This is for humanity, and he is dangerous. But what are you going to do about are, it, Sinsar? That's my question. Other than like jump around in the street with a sign in your hand, okay, no, and write your little manifesto. Refusefascism.org really has a manifesto, as you said. Refusefascism.org. Yeah. We say we have four things people should do. They should manifest the no. They should protest every outrage and okay. crime. But we have to have a single unifying objective. And the people who are waking up in this country who are horrified by this man with his finger on the nuclear weapon, we need to recognize that he has to be driven from office through mass political resistance before it is too late. Fascism advances through stages. Okay, Shock, awe, this violence, is silly. You and don't then periods of normalization. It, with political resistance, but whatever, you may not know actually, that. Actually, it would have taken millions and millions to rise up to stop Hitler. It but, but absolutely you, would have. But what do you and think? it's what people should have done. Okay, may I ask you a shameful. real question? I, it I is get shameful it. for You're you to dismiss But hold on, I know it's shameful, but let me oh, ask you this. Oh, it's no, funny it's a sincere to you. question. So this no, because million... I know you love to carry water for this criminal, okay, this okay. war criminal wannabe in chief. Okay. Right. He's but itching. Were, but, oh, but hold you on. find it's that as petty th matter? There were six. Tucker, you find that petty. You find Look, that a petty concern that real, he wants to be. I know that you're it very petty, but I'm trying to ask Nuclear you a real question. Nuclear weapons are as serious as you can be. I just want to ask you. Okay. Let me ask you one last question, okay? 62 million people voted for Trump, and disproportionately, they were people at the lower end of the income scale. Oh, they were, God. They, well, they were, actually. They were middle class and below, mostly. Opposed to Trump were, I don't know, the hedge fund managers and privileged people like you. Did you ever think you to yourself, like, about why him. is Can the I middle tell you something? class... He lost well, the popular vote. To... He lost the popular okay, vote, and no election fair or he fraudulent. Did. No election but fair or fraudulent had... can justify ripping up the please, rule of law, please undermining the courts, question. threatening the and shutting down You're the press. You're saying that you should throw a duly elected president out of office. No, I'm so saying people should, should resist. In the, yes, that's what he means when he says so-called judge. That's what he means when he fires an attorney general who disagrees with his laws. What I want to do is get to how you think. What you want to do is normalize fascism. Right. What you want to do is try to I'm caricature up, and dismiss people who are telling the truth. Me. Americans are not buying this rollout of accusers and this bigger theme of man shaming and they want to get to the real issues. Americans are watching this drumbeat about these sexual accusations and they're saying, I don't buy this. I want to hear about the economy. I understand your argument. I want to hear about I terrorism. Your argument. Man shaming? That's a new one. So, which one is it? Did he sexually assault these women? And are you saying that because we're criticizing him for it, it were man shaming him? Like, what does that even mean? He's not being shamed because he's a man. He's being shamed because he was caught on tape saying that he should grab women by the pussy without asking for consent. I think that that's probably worth shaming someone for. I don't understand conservative women, okay? If you're a conservative woman, please let me know, why do you hate yourself? Why do you hate yourself? Why do you defend men that think that you're a second-class citizen? Why do you defend men that think that they're entitled to touch you whenever they want, to regulate your bodies and tell you what you can and can't do with it? Why do you hate yourself? This woman is insane. I moved on her like a bitch. <laughs> what, why are we man-shaming Donald Trump? I, I mean, mean, he's just referring to women as bitches, right? Is that how McCoy identifies herself? Is she a bitch? Okay, no, are but, you? But, are you a bitch? But, Do you it, like men grabbing you by the pussy? But, but, believe that you should go home and make me a sandwich because you shouldn't be talking politics because you're nothing but a woman. And women should not be talking about politics. Get the fuck out of here. I can't stand these women. They're garbage. Okay, that woman is garbage. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. Maybe I'm being too harsh, but nothing gets under my skin more than a piece of shit running her mouth about how women can't have leadership roles because I'm a Christian and my Bible says that women should not have leadership roles. Well, then know your role, go back home, go in the kitchen, and make your husband a fucking sandwich and shut the fuck up. I just think you're dumb. Get the fuck out of here. Are you a bitch? You can call me a social justice warrior. You can call me whatever the fuck you want. At this point, I don't give a shit. But Do you like men grabbing you by the pussy? I think so poorly of them. That woman is garbage. You're an idiot. How stupid the majority of the country is. Yeah, I'm fucking better than you, okay? Much better than you. You are garbage. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up.
Ha, 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 ha.